but it happens in the movies, so I'm sure it happens in real life, right? That's how it works. It's not that I want you here. Yeah, yeah. It's not about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make it clear. Good morning. So I got up at like 7.45. It's currently 8.40. So I've been up for about an hour. I took everything out of my car. I don't know if I said yesterday, but I put one of the cushions to wash yesterday. And it actually looks amazing. The smell of pet is gone. It smells like nice furniture. So I think things are looking up. I took out this. I should have filmed this for you guys. I mean, I was on FaceTime with my boyfriend, so that's why I didn't think about it. But I struggled to get that cushion out but that's the one with all the stains on it so i let it soak with the resolve on it and now it's in the wash my boyfriend told me to put the washing machine to really hot so that's doing its thing over there once she's done i'll take it out see how she looks hopefully the stain is a little bit gone so all i have to do is like give it another wash but lord knows how long that stain was living in there my place looks a hot mess I'm embracing it though. There is stuff literally just scattered everywhere. These are all like little plates and cups I had in my last place. And I'm just now starting to set up the pantry. These boxes I have to go through. Finally put up my curtain last night. I guess because I stuffed her into a bag, now she's so wrinkly. But I also don't think I mentioned this. I'm going to change those lights into warm lights. And I do this in every bathroom that I live in. Because I don't like such intense light, I turn off the edges and only leave two bulbs on. And these bulbs are so bright. The bulbs that I got at my last place, they're warmer, so I think I'm just gonna bring them here. This is my bed. I just plugged in my little hive lamp because last night it was so dark in here. So yeah, that's pretty much all the update right now. Um, I have to leave here at 9.30 because I have work at 10. And then I probably won't get out of work till 6. I'm sorry if I have eye boogies in my eyes. I literally haven't even like washed my face. So excuse the crust. But straight after work, I'm gonna go back to my roommates and i'm just gonna keep grabbing stuff like i don't have no rhyme or reason to how i'm doing this because i don't have to be out of that place asap i'm doing it slowly you know just trip by trip today is february i think 16th or 17th no because i moved in on the 14th it's only been two days it's 16th <laughs> So today's February 16th and I don't have to be out of her house till the 28th. So I literally have like 12 days. So I'm gonna get ready for work and you guys are probably not gonna see me until we go to my roommates to get some stuff because I wanna show you that room. That room is looking crazy right now. We are back at my roommate's place. I'm gonna miss this place, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like this version of me is not who I am anymore, you know? Like this version of me who created this space is someone that I grew out of. She was in her growing phase, you know? While now I feel like, I mean, I'm definitely still growing. Don't get me wrong there. We are always growing. We are always striving for greatness. But this girl, the girl that built this, she, that was real growth. Like she's a real MVP. So we actually don't have to do Maritza on Monday because she's going to Orlando on Friday. So she'd rather me do her hair on Thursday because I'm off on Thursdays. So I was like, bet, okay. Two days of uninterrupted work on my apartment? Yes, please. So honestly, today I didn't even want to come here because I'm honestly drained and tired. I had a full work day. I didn't even tell you the time, it's like 6 p.m. I still have a mess at the apartment. My toilet got fixed, by the way. I didn't know if I told you guys. Every time that I flushed, it was leaking, like from the back part, from the water source or water tank, whatever you wanna call that. So that got fixed today. So yeah, I just have a mess over there, but honestly, I'd rather just come here and like get my clothes and get everything that I need before I even think about moving furniture, you know? Let me just empty out the closet first, which I feel like it's the easiest part to do because I'm just gonna take all of my luggages. I have three luggages, but actually one of them is filled with hair stuff, so I could only use two. I have one big one and then my carry-on, but I'm basically just gonna fill it with clothes and then take it to my apartment, empty it, literally just take everything with the hangers, put it on the closet, and then bring back with me the empty luggages and repeat the process over again. And I feel like in two trips, we could do it. Like I can take my whole closet with me in two trips. 
Because honestly, I, don't, I feel like I don't have a lot of stuff. But I don't know, we'll really see how much stuff I have when I put everything into this new closet. Because the new closet is huge. While this one, it's like, it's pretty small, honestly. So let's get to it. packing up a desk but you know like when you work somewhere and then like you get fired or something or you're just moving on and like you have to like pack up your desk well I don't know that because I've never worked in a business setting so I don't know if that really happens but it happens in the movies so I'm sure it happens in real life right that's how it works but you know in the movies when like the person gets fired and then they have to pack up their things in a little box from their desk like that's how I feel like right now but then I started thinking about how like usually the person in the movie feels sad that they're leaving but I have so much joy in me I I mean I'm gonna miss this place because I've again created a version of myself in this space but I'm so excited for the version of myself that I'm going to build in my new space she she is untouchable baby untouchable you gotta believe in yourself more than other people believe in you you have to be your own biggest fan you have to be the driving force that drives you to be motivated enough to do things in life because nobody else is going to do that for you you have to be that person for yourself and if you do have an outside source that does that for you you are so lucky let me tell you right now, you are so lucky. I have outside forces that cheer me on and are my biggest fans, my boyfriend being one of them. But like my family and my friends, I thank God that I don't have any envious eyes on me. But even with all of their drive for me to do better, I still have to push myself 10 times harder because it's all about how you motivate yourself. By the way, I cut my finger twice today. <laughs> I was cutting hair and the lady had really thick hair. So I cut myself on the same finger in two places. All right, it's currently 7.40. I think I have enough things to take with me right now. Let me show you guys. So that took us about an hour and a half, which is not bad. So I have these three suitcases, a hamper that's also filled with dirty clothes, a few bags back there. And this is how the place is looking right now. I think I'm going to take these three boxes as well. That's filled with all my athletic gear. I'm going to take my water bottles with me because I am thirsty in this new place and all I have are seltzers. And I might take a few of these boxes. Whatever fits in my car really. This is filled with office supplies. That's all my hair and nail stuff. This is all hair stuff. I'm not taking this with me yet because I want to bring back one of these boxes so I can just put everything in a box. And then this is all of my office supplies and my little corner shelf. But I think I'm just gonna start loading up the car and see how much I could fit in there. If I can fit more, I'll take more things. But I think this is a nice trip. Actually, what we can do right now, where is my camera stand? So I finished vacuuming the couch. Um, those three cushions are now in the wash. Oh, I should put this one in there too, just so it can smell good. Hold on. So 
So I put detergent, scent booster, a little bit of vinegar, and I sprayed some Resolve on the really tough stains. Now I'm eating a little bit of potato salad from Publix. I know that this is terrible for you, but honestly, I've just been eating like crap for the past two days and I don't care. You know why? It's because I haven't been eating enough. So now my car is still loaded up with stuff. So I'm gonna bring that up slowly. Right now I'm just gonna focus on washing all of the couch cushions. My bed frame is here. That thing is heavy. All right, I need to stop because I've done this much damage in one sitting, literally just standing here holding it, eating. She won't take anything less. So that's really important. She, she's gonna find like an amazing person. Cause you know, somebody will try something and be like, no, that's not right. how you treat a person. For bad care, good care. Super excited about that. We have so, but I think, um, work through it right so it's something that you're dealing with you think i'm right or you think you're wrong or you think you're right or you think I'm right. right you're just like, like trying to end the conversation yeah, calm down you'll find the truth because um, i think what's not fair is that um i could easily somebody getting angry that triggers you're not willing to playing a little with jazz music in the background but how gorgeous did this couch come out it smells so good basically all of the stains are out look how clean it is now every single cushion the only stain that's really bothering me right now it's this again i don't know what that is or what that cat was doing but i think with a little bit resolve and like a hot wet towel it should get it right out but yes i'm so happy with her she goes great with the space Matches the color to the wall, kind of to a T. It's like a taupey color. And with the gray floors, ah. She is Gorgina. We have revived her, we have restored her. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I know I was freaking out for a moment, but I tend to do that. I freak out for the moment, I make a big scene, I act like the world is ending, and then it ends up turning better than I would have imagined. But I think that's the process of it, you know? The time is now 9.04. I have to be at the salon at 10.30. No, I'm sorry. I have to be at the salon at 11. So I have to leave here at 10.30. So I have about an hour and a half to deload my car right now. And then my last client is at three and that's a Brazilian blowout. So I should be out by five, fingers crossed.
The time is now 9.30. It took me 30 minutes to do all that. Unload my car, which probably took about 20, and getting all of this out of my luggage, which probably took me less than 10 minutes. This luggage, again, is filled with hair stuff, so I'm just gonna leave it in here. And now these two luggages are empty, so I'm putting them back in my car because that was the easiest thing I have ever done. Oh, 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 oh,